What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FIFA 23 video. All of the fantasy FIFA Ultimate Team items that have been due an upgrade have been given an upgrade and although it is an optimum timing to have an international break now where we're going to get a stall on the upgrades, let's take a look at what EA have given us and on the, we're just going to use Footbin and just go down the list. There's been some somewhere around 27 upgrades I believe altogether and we're going to have a look uh, first of all, if they're just the traditional linear, oh, it's a plus two, so it's literally plus two. Um, second of all, what it's done necessarily to the prices of the players or how it's impacted them as usable cards in the game. And lastly, um, wh whether or not they're worth picking up, really. So first of all, we have got Alexis Sanchez has been upgraded. So two goals or assists in the next six games. He got both goals in Marseille's 2-1 win. Three appearances. He needs two more to get the last upgrade and avoid defeat um, is, is potential. Uh, who have Marseille got? They've got Montpellier, Lorient, uh, Troyes, Lyon and Auxerre. For me, Lorient and Lyon are probably the only two questionable games there. So could could be could be all four upgrades for Alexis Sanchez. So uh, let's have a look. How are we getting the in-game stats? Are they just plus twos? Yes, they are. So we don't really have to have an in-depth look at the upgrade because there's not like some hidden plus fours or fives with some only plus ones or twos elsewhere. It's literally just plus two across the board. But how does this make Alexis Sanchez in terms of his uh, usability? And as always, you see this here, guys? This is why you always sell in the hype, right? Always. Everybody holds and holds and holds not everybody. Smart people sell in the hype. I'm not one of those smart people. I would hold. But everybody holds because they think in their mind, when he gets the upgrade, the demand will be there. That's when I'll sell. But if that's everybody's line of thinking, guess what happens when the upgrade comes? Everybody sells, which causes a crash. And because everybody's holding prior to the upgrade, it causes inflation. And so that's why his price went from 577000 up to 684000 and is now very quickly falling back down how good is alexis sanchez four star four star is very nice he already had some good traits and as far as the card goes oh that's good isn't it that is good where do you play him mate like look at that a 95 cam with a marksman we've got a 96 cam with a maestro and that is what i would go with other than composure which is still reasonable 88 his shooting stats are outrageous. His passing stats are very good. Physically very good. Great dribbling stats and lots of links as well uh, for Alexis Sanchez. So massive upgrade for him there. Very nice indeed. We've got David Ginola. As if he needed an upgrade. One win and avoid defeat. So obviously Newcastle, I don't think they're going to avoid defeat. Um, they've got United, sorry, Manchester United, um, which I could see them losing. West Ham, I'd expect them to not lose. Brentford, the same. Villa, the same. Against Spurs, it, I could see them losing that game as well. I could also see them not losing all of these games, but David Ginola is most likely going to be the... This This is most likely going to be the only upgrade that he got. He is currently 8 million coins. As an, has also suffered, guys, from the, the everybody selling after the upgrade. I mean, as we all know, David Ginola is just a broken card in the game at the best of times. I'd be going with an engine on him. Top pace, top dribbling, very good shooting, very good physicals, and very good passing with the five-star, five-star, and French Premier League links. It's a very, very good card. We have got a Betty Pele, also upgraded by one. He is obviously for Marseille. We've been through the Marseille thing. Uh, he just gets a plus one. I don't think we need to look at the heroes too in-depth. Um, because pl literally plus one across the board doesn't make that much of a difference. It's the other cards that I'm more interested in. We've got Papa, also for Marseille. <laughs> Jesus. Um, also gets the plus one across the board. Very nice for him. And then uh, Isaac of Newcastle. So he's been given a plus two so far. He already got the two goals and assists. I think it was a goal and an assist in the Newcastle game. He will get the appearance. And again, they may well keep the, uh, the, the you know, they may well not, lose in the six games he's coming at about four hundred thousand coins the overall upgrade on isaac is is awesome um what i really like about this card is four star five star six foot four high low work rates 
His passing is reasonable for a striker. Without a chem style, he's a 93 rated striker. A hunter. I don't know if I'd do a hunter. I'd probably do a hawk. Because his pace is already quite good. Or it, because his shooting is quite nice. And, you know, in this game, at the very least, shooting is genuinely quite broken. It's quite easy to just score goals without having like 99 in every shooting stat. I think dribbling is probably a bit more important. So giving him the engine chem style gets his sprint speed and acceleration to being superb levels. Gets that eight in balance, which will make a massive notable difference. Good passing. Great uh, shooting anyway. Good jumping for a man that's six foot four. And what traits has he got? He's got the flare trait and the outside of the foot shot trait. I mean, that is a cracking card, to be fair. And lo and behold, also has dropped in price a little bit. We have also got... We have also got Harry Kuehl upgraded as well, plus one, another Premier League player. He's there for Leeds. Um, I very, 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 very much doubt Harry Kuehl will get any more upgrades. But you never know, man. Stranger things have happened. But Leeds have got Liverpool and Arsenal, um, which are two games I'd expect them to lose. Fulham, I'd probably expect them to lose as well. Palace and Forest, maybe not. Maybe they get wins there. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. We've got Morientes. Hasn't been upgraded yet <clears throat> because Real Madrid did lo lose, which means he's probably only going to get the one upgrade anyway. Marquez did get the upgrade. The New York Red Bulls did win the game. However, I don't think the Red Bulls are going to be able to not lose a game uh, for the rest of this uh, six-game period. At Atlanta right now are in fine form with Thiago Almada in that uh, central attack and role, just dominating um, Charlotte aren't a bad team either. They've started the season a bit hit and miss. And then Montreal are half decent as well. I feel like the Earthquakes and Houston Dynamo are probably a bit weaker. Um, but I don't expect Marquez to get upgraded much more than that. And it's just plus ones across the board. JJ Okocha did get the upgrade from Fenerbahce. Um, so, uh, yeah, avoid defeat in the next six games is very possible. Uh, although they've got Besiktas, who are very good. They've got Fati, who have got Perlo as manager doing bits. Istanbul are half decent and Karaguchu aren't, ba aren't very good. Istanbul Sport are probably going to get relegated. Yeah, I, I could see them not getting... Like, probably Besiktas is going to be the, the most difficult one. If they don't lose this game, I could see Okocha getting another upgrade. We have got Gomez. So, one Gomez has been upgraded. The, uh, the Fiorentina uh, uh, Gomez has been upgraded. Um, and then the Bundesliga Gomez has not been upgraded. I, d I don't know why. Um, I, d I, d I like the fact that I haven't even got him here. I don't know how they're working that one, but there you go. Um, how far were we? There we is. And we've got Memphis to pie, guys. So uh, Atletico Madrid has indeed got the win. No goals or assists for Depay. He's got plus one across the board. And the fact that this was an SBC um, is quite nice. He will now be a really, really nice player to play with. We've got Marcus Llorente has got a plus one as well. Atletico Madrid did indeed win and he scored a goal, I believe. Maybe he got the assist, I can't remember. But um, <clears throat> he is on his way for three upgrades, which is quite nice. Are Atletico Madrid likely to not lose a game? I mean, they've got Barcelona. That's going to be the, the test, isn't it? Betis, I'd expect them to not lose to, especially at home. Valacano, Almeria... And Mallorca, 100%, I'd expect them not to lose to. It's just going to be, can they not lose against Barcelona, in my opinion. We've got William Saliba has got that upgrade. What a beast. What a beast. He's injured now. Um, and is I don't know how, like, it wasn't good, um, the injury, so I heard. I don't know if he's going to be able to get any game time in these games. I, I don't know. I don't know how long the injury is. So, getting two clean sheets... And three appearances. I don't know if he has to play in the game to get the clean sheets. He could still get two or three upgrades. Um, although, you know, saying that, do I expect Arsenal to not lose? Leeds, I expect us not lose to. West Ham, the same. Southampton, the same. But then we've got Liverpool Man City. And I could easily see us losing both of those games. Uh, Cap de Villa has got his first upgrade for Villarreal. However, Villarreal have got Real Madrid. And so I would expect Villarreal to lose a game. Um, so I don't think he'll get many more upgrades, but he's obviously just a cracking card, isn't he? 1.5 million coins still gone down in value. Well, it looks like he's like crashed and then risen, actually, doesn't it? Um, maybe by like 20 or 30k. This card's just like amazing good. He is one of the best cards in the game, one of the best fullbacks in the game, which, which is why even though his stats aren't better than some other fullbacks in the game, he's still more expensive than those players because actually he's, um, he's just a very, very, very good player. 
uh, in FIFA. <clears throat> We've then got Al Jaber has been given that first upgrade. Are Al Hilal going to avoid defeat? It would like possibly, actually. I think I I'm not like going to profess that I'm some, uh, you know, somebody that understands too much about Saudi football. But I think from what I see there, I think Al Fire the only team that are like half decent out of those teams that are there. So Al Jaber might get the another plus one. Ruben Dish, uh, Man City haven't played yet, obviously, because Cup weekend. Eden Hazard, isn't he just the strangest player that, that is here? He he won't play, right? He won't play. Um, Real Madrid have already lost, so they can't get the avoids defeat upgrade. Eden Hazard will not get two goals or assists and will not get three appearances. He might get the upgrade for one win, and that's it. So he might go to a 91, but this is such a, a strange choice of card from EA. Like, they should know that he's just not in the in the Real Madrid team. Um, we've got Dirk Cow already been upgraded. Uh, are Feyenoord likely to lose any of the next five? Not really. Um, that's five relatively comfortable matchups for them. Two home games only, though. So, uh, you know, away to Sparta Rotterdam, who aren't awful but aren't great either. And then away to, yeah, I mean, I, I would expect Dirk Cow actually to get um, upgraded all the way. You never know in football, right? But... And Ajax was the one that was going to be the can he get through this one here. Di Natale for, for Udinese has got that win. Can they avoid defeat in the next six? Bologna are in reasonable form right now. They've also got Roma. Uh, do you know what? They probably could. Monza are decent, but not great. Cremonese are terrible. Lecce aren't great, although with them titty there now. Um, Di Natale could get another upgrade. That would be quite wild. And, and his upgrade is nice, man. This, this card is another one that is just nice. Two million coins. Oh, what a card, man. If you've managed to pack this card or buy this card, what an absolutely sensational player in game. Four star, four star as well. Of course, we've got to wait for like, what is it, the third upgrade before we start getting the um, extra traits, which would be quite fun and quite interesting. Um, ben Rama, uh, West Ham were obviously cup games, so hasn't played yet. Skriniar into lost to Juventus. Um, looks like Skriniar didn't play in that game either. So I don't know. Maybe he was injured. Maybe he was suspended. I'm not actually quite sure. They've already lost anyway, so that doesn't really matter. Lars Ricken for Dortmund. It's going to be difficult for Dortmund to not lose because they've got Bayern next game. And Bayern need to win after dropping more points this weekend. Um, Union are obviously a very good team as well. Stuttgart, Frankfurt, and Bochum, I'd expect them to beat or at least not lose to. Frankfurt are half decent. Um, so maybe we get another upgrade for Ricken. Jota obviously hasn't played yet because Cup weekend. Al Owaran. Um, so uh, the Al Shababians, they did not win, but they also did not lose. So he's still on for both upgrades. Uh, Fernando didn't play. I believe he was suspended. He might have one more, one more match suspension. He might, or he might have served his full suspension by now. However, Hatafe beat Sevilla, so he can only now get three upgrades. And I'm telling you this for a fact, especially considering he plays centre-back for most of his time in Sevilla at the moment anyway. He won't get two goals or assists. The win and the appearances, he'll get nothing else, though. Uh, Angelino has been given a first upgrade for Hoffenheim. He's got one appearance so far. Two clean sheets is going to be tough. Bundesliga is full of goals. Avoiding defeat is going to be tough because they've got Leipzig and Bayern Munich and Schalke who are back in form as well. Uh, Amin Guiri. Now Stade Rene beat PSG, but they've still got Lyon and Hoim who are doing very well this season. But um, yeah, Guiri, I'd expect him to get the two goals and assist. I don't think they'll avoid defeat. He will get the, uh, the appearances, but that is another nice little plus one. Kind of like loses uh, loses its worth for me a little bit anyway. I wish they upgraded him a little bit more like the um, team of the week, you know, like an 87 to become an 89 or an 87 to become an 88. But don't give just the plus one linear upgrade. Give like one pace, two shooting, two passing. You know what I mean? Like th these these cards, by the time they have the potential to get their full upgrade, you know, if it takes them to the fifth game, to the last game, which actually it will if it's a void defeat, right? We are at the end of April the back end of April, the middle of April and the beginning of April to even just have the chance of getting the three appearances, the goals or the assists, and then the back end of April for the avoids defeat. So even if he gets all three upgrades and becomes a, a 91 at the end of it, we are actually going to be in team of the season <laughs> where it's just going to be a little bit pointless. Um, we've got Deli Ali has got the first upgrade because Besiktas won. 
Uh, they've got Fenerbahce next. They've got Trabzonspor, who are good as well. And then other than that, they've got relegation-bound Umraniaspor. Spore. I don't know if that game's going to go ahead. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, maybe they avoid defeat. I don't know. But in terms of goals and assists and appearances, there's literally zero chance. Deli Ali has been banished from Besiktas for the rest of the season, so he won't be playing. Um, Cordoba has lost his first game, so can only get a plus one, which I think all FIFA fans are happy about because even as an 88, he's one of the most broken cards in the game. Ledley King uh, can still get both upgrades. Spurs didn't lose to Southampton. Um, they have got Newcastle and United, though, that I think will be the toughest two games for them. I could see them losing to Brighton as well. Um, so King could still get both upgrades, which would be quite nice. Peter Crouch hasn't played yet, obviously. Um, Tiddy did lose the first game for Lecce. Uh, however, him getting a win and three appearances, I think, is a shoe in Him keeping two clean sheets, almost impossible. They've got AC Milan and Napoli both free scoring. Um, they've got Empoli, Sampdoria, and Udinese. So that's yeah, tough, man. That's tough. Fabian will get some upgrades, but PSG losing to Stade Rene was big. They've also got Lyon, Nice, Lens, and Lorient. That's a, that is a tough run-in for uh, PSG at the moment. I can't even lie. Sergi Dardere will get a maximum of three upgrades. He's got the first appearance. They need one more win, and he's, he needs to get a couple of goals and assists. Sabitzer obviously hasn't played yet. AC Milan lost to Udinese again, so, uh, you know, no upgrade there. Bayern Munich lost to Bayer Leverkusen, so no upgrade for Upa Meccano yet. Uh, DeMarcos has been given an upgrade, though. He's got right wing as an option as well, which is nice. Um, Bilbao beat Valladolid. Who have they got? Hetafe, Espanyol, Real Sociedad, who aren't in the best form at the moment, Almeria and Sevilla. They could, they could not lose in those next five games and could keep that clean sheet as well. I could see DeMarcos getting three or four upgrades here and taking him to like a 91 rated. This card as well is nice. It's only 40,000 coins. For me personally, guys, because I feel like he is due at least two more upgrades, potentially three more upgrades, he's four-star, three-star as a fullback. I think for 40,000 coins, this is a cracking option. This is, this is a good player to, to like look at, especially if you're on like a low-budget team or... You just started the game now or something like that. I think DeMarcos is a really, really nice option. Uh, how far down did we get? We're about here somewhere, aren't we? Damn, we're not even like near the end yet. We have got Park Ji-sung. Obviously, no games played yet. We have got uh, Gomez for Lille. Now, Lille have got Lorient. Mm, other than that, I could see them not losing. Um, two goals or, or assists for Gomez, I'd expect it. And the three appearances, I'd expect it. So, yeah, I'd expect him to get some nice upgrades as well. Um, and he's been given a nice upgrade as well because, like, his dribbling. Oh, he was the SBC, wasn't he? Yeah, this this is and was a good card. A maestro on him. Oh, look at that dribbling already, that passing and that shooting from range with that pace. Even now, guys, at four star, four star, this is a really good card. For what was a 63k SBC that will most likely get two, maybe even three more upgrades, that was a really, really tidy card. So if you did that SBC, Maybe go and put him in your in your team for a little bit and, and have a few games with him and see uh, see how it goes. Um, we have got Trimmel has been given a plus one. I think he'd still be dirt cheap. Um, two clean sheets for Union Berlin. Not impossible, especially against uh, Bochum um, and maybe Stuttgart. I wouldn't really expect them to get a clean sheet anywhere else. Uh, three appearances. He didn't even play in the first game. And avoiding defeat, I think it'll be tough with uh, with Union Berlin. Leverkusen, and Dortmund, they got a tough run in, to be fair. Uh, Mitoma obviously didn't play yet because uh, it was cup, cup weekend for Brighton. Emre Chan's got that first upgrade. Borussia Dortmund uh, getting in big with a 6-1 win. Emre Chan didn't play, however. Um, he could still get all the upgrades. You know, Dortmund are in fine form right now. They're actually on, it, they have a chance of winning the title this season. Um, <clears throat> and uh, yeah, that upgrade, man, this card is just one of those cards, isn't it? 272k, he could play centre-back, which is where I would go with him, man. You know, 93 rated centre back already coming in at 250k. Great physicals, good passing, great pace. Needs that like pace split pushed up a bit more to favour him. Great dribbling for a centre back. All star weak foot. He's lengthy. He's six foot one. I I don't know how he's so cheap as far as like a top tier centre back goes. I think he's very very good, um, and, and well worth like potentially picking up. Um, we have also got Vimmer, probably another one that nobody really cares about. 
Uh, Wolfsburg did get the win. Wimmer did play. He didn't get any goals or assists. I don't think they will avoid defeat over six games. Uh, Mainz, eh. Bochum, eh. Leverkusen are decent. No, I mean, may maybe, maybe they avoid defeat. Wolfsburg, are, like, after a terrible start to the season, are coming good again as well. Um, Tagliafico still has the ability... Wait, why does he have no uh, goals or assists set out for him? Sorry, no clean sheets. Uh, he's avoided defeat one. Why has it got red here when they drew the game 1-1? Interesting. Did they draw the game 1-1? Maybe they didn't. I'm, I'm not going to go and check now. Uh, Ricky Puig, uh LA drew 1-1 with the white caps. Um... He will get two goals or assists. They will get a win. And he will make the three appearances. I'm not sure on the... Uh, hold on. I'm, I am going to have to go and check this now. Because that's two in a row where it's not really made too much sense. Uh, LA Galaxy. What was their result against the Whitecaps? Yeah, they drew 1-1. So it shouldn't be red really, should it? Because they, they did avoid defeat. Um, that should say one so far. And then the same for uh, Tagliafico at Lyon. Yeah, Lyon drew 1-1. One, one. They, they, they have avoided defeat in the last five. I mean, they've got PSG next game anyway, but the clean sheets thing isn't there. Um, but I can see Ricky Puig getting upgraded. Soberslai, uh, Leipzig lost to Bochum, so that one's done. Um, I'd expect him to get two goals and assist them, get a win and three appearances. I'd expect him to go to a 90. We've got Miller has got that first upgrade. Montreal beat Philadelphia Union, who were one of the tougher teams that they had to play. They still got to play the New England Revs away. I, I, I could honestly see Montreal beating Whitecaps, beating DC United, beating the Red Bulls and beating Kansas. I think this is going to be the tough game. And the Revs haven't started the season too well either. So um, Miller didn't play, however. So I could see them... Good season getting the clean sheets, but MLS is just full of goals, man. So probably not. Uh, and Dai didn't get upgraded yet. Lorient got upgraded. I think he got a goal in that game as well, didn't he? No, it was, must have been a game before. They've got the win. <clears throat> they got Torino, Verona, Juventus, Salernitana, and Empoli next. Tough game against Juve, but could, could potentially uh, avoid defeating all of them. Lorient's got a nice little upgrade there as well, up to an 86. I like this card a bit as well. Good pace and dribbling. He does need another couple of upgrades, which I do think he'll get. Um, I don't know why he didn't play in that last game. He's usually a, a, a permanent fixture in the Sassuolo team. Lima has not got the upgrade yet. Austin, I'm shocked they lost to Houston. Um, but hey, lo and behold, there it is. Uh, Austin will get some wins. Uh, they also went out of the Champions League to Violette, which is uh, bad for them because Violette are... They're not even like... They're not even like Milkman and Postman showing up. They are, they're just a group of guys that got found, that got put on the field to play. They were that bad, but somehow they managed to beat Austin over two legs. Um, uh, Lima will get three appearances. He will get a win. He probably won't get a two clean sheets. Uh, top rack, no upgrade just yet. Same with Foyth. Same with Rashika and Benteke. Tough for Benteke. I do think he'll get the goals. Yeah, there you go. He's already got one out of two, uh, and he's already got that one appearance. Um... But uh, the win, oh yeah, I do think DC and I will pick up a win somewhere down the line there. So there you go, guys. They are the upgrades. Um, there's a lot of nice, nice upgrades. And there's still really good potential for all of the cards to get at least two or three upgrades, which is really good. It's been a good start for me. I'm glad they've sent in the updates and upgrades quite quickly so people can get to using them for the upcoming weekend league rather than us waiting weeks. Let me know if you've got any of these players in your teams and what you think about them. But thank you guys very much for watching. And I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.